Hi everybody, I'm Bill Sanders and this is Watch Art Sci, the art and science of watch collection. Uh, today, uh, uh, what I wanted to do was to take a look at a what's called a pre-sprung balance and try to talk about the difference between a balance with what's called, uh, or at least what George Daniels calls, a curb regulator. And uh, so let's take a look at that. Uh, first of all, to get started, the curb regulator is where you have you have two parts to it. You have a, a part called the stud, and then you have this movable arm called the regulator. This is my <laughs> my regulator that I made. Uh, so is described by George Daniels, a, a spring passes between two pins and its link is effectively changed to alter the timekeeping by moving the regulator. Okay, now what that means is that if you move it one way, it runs faster by making the use, the amount of spring shorter. And uh, what happens is that when you have a semi-oscillation with a shorter spring, it has less far to go and will pop back quicker. If you use, if you make the string longer, it has further to go, and so that'll slow it down. And so that's how a regulator basically works. If toward the uh, negative side, you're making it longer, and toward the positive side, you're making it shorter. So that's a basic how to work a regulator. Uh, if you're among the pretentious watchmakers, <laughs> those of us who are making our own watches with uh, by putting movements and a few other things together. Uh, one of the fun things to do is use a regulator, and you can do it with a toothpick or a pegwood stick. You just push that little that little stick there, either to the left or the right. Now, um, George Daniels is almost contemptuous. <laughs> it was like, yeah, uh, there are certain kinds of things that can happen. Uh, they he describes them. They're cheaply made for a quick way to mass produce movements. So anyway, that's his view. <laughs> right. Now a free sprung balance uh, doesn't have a regulator. Oftentimes you'll see uh, if, the, if you look at the bottom left down there, that's a called a butterfly bridge, or a, some of people call it a Batman bridge. And uh, where you see that, you can see that there's no regulator. There's no little thing to adjust it. Instead, what you'll find is you'll find a lot of these weights uh, around the, um, the balance wheel. And uh, what you have to do is to, <laughs> to make the wheel move faster or slower, uh, you have to screw those screws in or out. And that takes a lot of watchmaking skill, way beyond my <laughs> pay level or skill level. Uh, the pictures there you have, those are from uh, H. Moser. And all of H. Moser's uh, movements, I found out, much to my delight, are uh, free-sprung movements. I, but you can't take it down to Joe the watchmaker. <laughs> Uh, I read an article by a, by this one arch, uh, watchmaker, and he just loved ETA. So one of the reasons he likes them is that they're, they they have, all of them have a regulator. But what I found in my collection, most of them uh, had regulators, including some very fancy, expensive ones. Uh, this is my uh, double hairspring Moser. It doesn't have a regulator, and uh, you have to send it to some special place <laughs> for them to do any kind of uh, work with it. Uh, finally, here's sort of an interesting thing. Uh, this is a watch uh, uh, from uh, Rolf Lang Dresden, uh, and he has the same movement called the Canaletto, and one is standard and one is with a marine chronometer balance. Now, the one on the left, you can see sort of a very interesting uh, type of regulator using a swan neck for very fine movement, uh, the top left. Uh, but on the right, you see it with these four balance weights, and these weights can be adjusted uh, on the balance wheel. Uh, on the lower right down there, you can see the one that uh, he's given us to, <laughs> to test out. 
And so these have both. Now, um, none of us have the skills um, or, or even think we have the skills to do any adjustment on this, whether it's with a regulator or, or trying to mess around with those weights. Uh, but that's uh, the, the difference between basically between one with a free sprung balance and then one with what, using George uh, Daniels terms, a curb regulator. Anyway, check out your watches and see what they have. Maybe they have both like, like our Rolf Lang does. Okay, uh, really like to hear from you, see, hear what you think. And uh, until next time, this is Bill Sanders for Watch Outside the Art and Science of Watch Collection. Thank <music> you.